One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tom Diesel here. I uh, hope you guys had a wait weekend. Uh, today I'm gonna go over one of the topic I mean I've been getting a lot of questions from the members asking about this so I thought it could be a good idea just for me to kind of go over this uh, you know in more details uh, kind of you know to show you guys my thoughts or, or like my version of it so uh, today's topic is gonna be how to use volume in trading okay there are like you know for me I, I really want to keep it simple it's like I, I don't rely like I don't necessarily rely on that too much but I use that you know as one of my checklists uh, you know same thing with SSR same thing with uh, you know float uh, market cap it's 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 more like a, you know on kind of my my uh, checklist uh, what I do every day so that I can understand the bigger picture of it so how can you use volume i mean so what what is really the volume uh and why is it you know or like uh, you know if it's important at all uh to your trading i mean i mean volume is is really critical right i mean the liquidity of the stock like you you, you don't want to be trading something that you know has no volume at all and uh you know the um the the reason of it is uh, because i mean you know you want to get in and get out of trade and you know easily right you you don't want to be you know uh stucking into some position and then you can get out uh, i mean it's just like volume supply and demand uh the liquidity of the stocks uh is uh when you can get you know easily in and easily out uh you know with hertz uh htz that was pretty liquid throughout the day and yeah as you can see here the volume it's it's just insane uh, this is more like an abnormal volume uh, kind of uh, stock to me and uh, I mean for for this I mean for the big traders uh, they want to get in like you know million shares uh, you know in and out easily right uh, but compared to something I don't know by like the low-hanging fruit or yeah like like staff low-hanging fruit here I mean you can even tell that from the chart that it's it's not really liquid right volumes kind of dry down dries down here you know after the the first day of the hot check is a huge uh, you know spike here in the volume and then the second day it just dies dies off and if you wanted to get in here you know one million shares two million shares uh, you know you won't be able to get in and get out easily like i i don't think even like you know with 50 or like a hundred thousand shares right so volume is really crucial part in our trading uh when it comes to liquidity what are the things that i'm looking at if uh, when 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 it comes to volume right uh the first thing i want to look at is i want to see how kind of it performs in the pre-market okay usually i can tell if the stock is hot check or not like uh you know if it's on day one the volume is pretty good in the pre-market I know that after the open, likely it's going to be, you know, much more volume, right, on it, right? And one of the things, you know, that I've been kind of, not, not like tracking, but uh, one of the things I, I try to kind of uh, pay close attention to is, uh, let's say the pre-market volume, let's say if it's, you know, 10 million trade in the pre-market, right? and i think you guys have heard about this a lot like the, the the forecast of you know the particular stocks if it's uh you know if uh the pre-market volume traded for like 10 million you can you know multiply it by 10 times or you know 100 million that's usually the average or it's like uh, you know the the forecast for for the stock right hey guys my name is tosh bradley i'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in mic mic in general text me at 213-458-5997 this is not a robot it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club we also have special promotions going on that i can get to you depending on your trading needs hit me up back to the video so like 
the pre-market traded 10 million like the forecast of it would be like you know 100 million by the end of the day that's uh, not you know necessarily accurate but it's like it, it gives you some sort of a measure uh, for you to look at the bigger picture uh, like you know likely it's going to end up you know traded uh, in 100 million in volume at the end of the day right how can you use that to your advantage and one of the things that I noticed is that if the pre-market volume kind of traded 10 million and if it's you know predicted it's going to be 100 million by the end of the day right but in the first like 30 or minutes or like an hour it already has reached that you know number already so let's say you know opens here 10 million and by 10 30 it, it was like sitting at you know 100 million already so that means you know that something is telling me that the stock is really you know hot and demand is really high and uh, like the up normal kind of volume right it's like the stock is really crowded and one of the thing here that I kind of play uh, you know pay close attention to is uh, when I see those kind of stocks that are really over like uh, you know crowded like that 100 million by the end of the day but it already reached like in the first hour right so that's something is telling me that stock is really crowded likely it's not gonna fade all day okay likely it's gonna you know squeeze or because you know the demand is is so high right I mean if people shorting people buying it I mean and the chances are stock is it's uh, it's gonna do like unimaginable kind of things uh, instead of if it was like uh, acting like uh, you know it was like forecast uh, you know to do it which is 10 million here and then you know some maybe big volume here 20 million and then you know it just slowly faded you know all day so at by the end of the day it should reach like that 100 million right and if it's uh, you know by usually what i see is by the 10 30 if stock like maybe under 50 percent it's like 50 million by the end by you know by 10 30 likely it's gonna you know end up uh, fading all day but it's not something that you know that uh, it's it's gonna work 100 percent right but it just gives you an idea and how to look at the bigger picture okay for me if stock is really crowded it has abnormal volume a lot of demand on it you know it should reach that 100 million you know easily by you know first hour and if it you know kind of did that then I have to kind of thinking about it like you know stock is really crowded likely chances are it's gonna squeeze or chances are it's gonna be choppy right and I don't want to be involved uh, on that and also you know I try to kind of you know maybe move more towards like the nail and bell kind of uh, you know style instead of uh, like I would probably hold the piece if it doesn't get to that forecast, I would probably, you know, short here hold a whole piece and maybe for the home run, right? So it's just like, you know, some sort of information, uh, you know, to give you uh, like the extra information for you to, you know, have in, in your book. That's, that's all. And uh, the second part here regarding the volume is Alex mentioned a lot about it uh, during the markets open and and uh, the one one of the key things here that I want to kind of look at at like you know intraday or like uh, at at the real time kind of move is that I want to see the stock has a elevated uh, kind of volume up right the the volume is elevated here as you can see and then stuff move after that like the stuff move like the stuff move on elevated volume this is you know what's Alex been you know talking about daily basically and usually those stuff you can see here that's this is like really powerful stuff this is this is pretty much like the death candle we've been talking about in our videos and if you you know watch those then this is you know clearly uh, the sign for you like the, the momentum has changed right but this is like grinding higher and higher and then huge stuff this is you can tell a like, biggest candle from 7 a.m. up to here at 9 30 this is the confirmation for me like you know like not not some sort of convictions for me to go short side but this is the confirmation
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.